An Airline Traveler's Prayer O Heavenly Father, who in his wisdom created airplanes so that man could be like unto a retarded bird with a broken wing, please move things along and truly give unto us the miracle of teleportation. I don't know how much longer I can take this. Once I enter the doors of the airport, Heavenly Father, I fear that there will come a time when I will no longer be responsible for my own actions. I can no longer abide my spirit being extinguished in the name of airport security. I don't want to take off my shoes. My shoes hold nothing but my feet. I can no longer watch as they molest the elderly in the name of safety. In the name of Christ, your only begotten Son, my hair gel doesn't come in a container that is 3.4 ounces or less. I don't care that we are now in code orange. I have no orange to wear. I am losing my fucking mind in here. I want to tear off my clothes and run on all fours onto the tarmac and bark at the planes like a dog. Do you hear me, Heavenly Father? Can you feel my plight? I know it's not much in the scheme of things, but I am here four or five times a week, and I fear one of these days I will no longer be responsible for my own actions. It could happen on the plane, when they show on those tiny screens, which make me wonder why you ever gave us the gift of sight, a movie that could only have been made to play for cows in order to increase their production of milk. My own nipples fill to bursting as I watch it, filling with a black venom that I fear will spurt out onto my neighbor's bag of snack nuggets. Am I making myself clear to you? You who maintains order in the universe? except in airport baggage claims, so I can always be certain that the wait for my luggage is actually longer than my flight time. And so, as I stand here waiting, wondering if I will ever see my hair gel again, I try to have pure thoughts, thoughts that will lift me above the base animal urges I feel, like running up the conveyor belt to rip out the heart of an innocent baggage handler to assuage the burning in my skull. But higher thoughts don't come, O Lord. So I turn my anger on myself, and I find myself wanting to rip my eyes from their sockets, so I will no longer have to bear witness to the insanity I am watching. The conveyor belt is empty, O Lord. It is empty. It isn't even moving. Please move my conveyor belt, the one that rises up into the heavens and brings me closer to you. Amen.